Welcome to Opel Drone Motorsport. We are right now in Jeddah making the average speed zone. This is my last lap. It was the, the lap that I actually made the most of it. It was not enough to achieve the gold, but it was the fastest one. So here we are. We hit almost the goal, but it was it was not enough, man. I was one kilometer away. So this is the resource points that we won in the practice session. Tatiana Calderon uh, made some points, yeah. It's it's good because in the in the last one we didn't score points with Tatiana, but right now we are on the points. Right, this is the qualifying lap. As you can see, this was my fastest lap. It was the lap number two. I didn't screw this up. <laughs> Although on this track I didn't use the recommended setup, I put my braking bias to 60% on the front because, man, let me say, doing this turn when you need to brake so heavily using the 55% braking bias or 54%, man, that unsettled the car so much that I cannot drive it. So I use the 60%. So as you can see, everything is smooth, although the car is still a potato. But yeah, it's it's quite okay for the current development of the car. It's not going to be anything extraordinary, but it's going to be good enough to maintain our position and solidify ourselves like Actually, I could say that we are in the middle of the grid in terms of performance in car. Even though the car feels so bad to drive, man. I don't know if, the, if this is because I'm used to play with E4 cars in racing leagues and all that jazz. Probably it is. But yeah, this is the end of the lap. And here we are, T13, it's the, na Russell, the number that I use in this season now, because, you know, Nick De Vries took off sure my 21 then. number and I'm pretty sure if I use the number 13, no one is going to use that. <laughs> I know it's not a lucky number. In the lower Hijaz Mountains to visit one of the newest circuits on the Formula One calendar. We're in Jeddah, home to what we all hope is going to be a thrilling Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's yeah, take this a look at the awesome. topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to I don't know here. about we'll you, but the track the actually reminds me a knife. Spent in practice this <laughs> Small weekend. knife. <laughs> and like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Norris, Hamilton, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Magnussen, Stroll, Richards, Ocon, yep. Hulkenberg, Joe, Something Ricardo, happened over there. I mean, people. Bottas, Sonoda, Sargent, Calderon, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Could be Alexander Albon. To my co-commentator here today, someone of tremendous experience. I need to review the grid. It's the man himself. I kind of don't remember. <laughs> It was a big improvement about my memory if I could remember the grid that I just saw. <laughs> but <laughs> as usual, that's usual for me. Right about the car, man, look, the car looks awesome to me. I like much, much more the car with that color. Right, so this is the formation lap, nothing about it. This is just the. Uh, the start of the race, warming up a little bit the tires. Okay, how was that pull away? You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tires properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. 
And yeah, let me say the car feels much, much better with this type of color. Right. Lights out and away we go. Let's go. I'm pretty good at the starts on, the, on this game compared to the AI. A little contact here and there, but we maintain a position on points. P10 for now behind Gasly, but this is not going to last for that much. I'm going to find myself trying to defend our position a lot. I'm not going to be able to race any more further. This is going to be pretty much the, the actual race. We cannot forget, man, the car is still very under development. Yeah, we have some skirmishers here and there, but let's be honest, it was a race a little bit boring from the, from the, to the format of the viewer. But actually, for me, it was very hard to maintain and defend the position. As you can see, like a bullet, scroll passing through us like a bullet, man. It's insane, a little bit of contact, okay, but right now we are going to have VRS. I'm using ERS too, so now it's our time to be the bullet. Goodbye, Stroll. We retook our P10, right? Smoothly. I was trying to close the gap as much as I can, man, but... At some point, it's very, very, very hard. Right, pit stop, regular stuff. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. By the looks of it, it was an optimal pit stop. About that, I just mess. I was messing around with the camera setup, and I was able to put the information on the right side, which is awesome. Right now, it's just the regular overtake from the pits. Because on P last, I'm going to put myself a little bit high. Or a little bit higher. Alonso ahead of me, Bottas too. Yep. It's going to be a pain. And try to claim this. So we have some skirmishers with the Haas drivers. Right now it's against Magnussen. Again. DRS make the car like a bullet, bro. But I think we are going to be able to overtook him because we are going to have DRS. Yep, and here we go. Just like in real life, the DRS it's overpowered. Oh, we didn't touch, I believe. Let's go. We are going to maintain the DRS. Awesome, here we go. But even though with DRS, bro, look at that. Magnuson. Magnuson with the has. Alright, another has. And it's behind. I was trying to close the door real quick. And we managed. Right, P15. A little contact over here. But I think it, that, that it was pretty much the thing, I believe. Not once again, let's going to overtake through the pit lane. So we are going to be behind who? Stroll, okay, stroll on P13. It's our number. Here we go, still on P14. What's going to happen here? It's going to be another fight with Magnuson. Could be, yeah. Here he is. Am I going to be able to overtake him? Oop, a little mistake over there. Nah, we just got demoted. Another one trying to overtake me. I closed the door. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we are still on P15. Got Ricardo behind us. Oh no! Alright, alright, come on, let's go. Oh no, Ricardo, stay behind. Yes, stay behind, bro. But it's going to have the DRS, man. It's very dangerous. Now, 
from nowhere. To know that, bro. What the heck? All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, actually, this is the the this. <laughs> yeah, I I made a, a restart from here. Yeah, flashback. It's what they call. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. So I just flash back. Right now, I was expecting something. Yeah. <laughs> And it was Magnuson. Magnuson. Messing up with the grid. Alright, so we are the, the final lap. The tires are Ferrari tires, as you can see, 37%. And though this is... I, can't, uh, I cannot remember if this is a medium race or it is a short race man my memory bro let me say my memory is very 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 bad so we maintained our number okay, our position p13 so the race it was pretty much pretty much boring for the standard of the viewer so then it's time to see how this result affects the drivers yeah, championship okay I, I start from p12 because of a penalty greed i believe maybe maybe between who would you pick as your driver maybe between of the day? us and album to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care but yeah, yeah I, I think i think my it's, driver of choice. it's, it's time pretty to see good to be on 13 we are not very far away from the points in the standings tatiana got the dnf sadly Mercedes team today as they make their way and the we standings. didn't score any kind and of points we, we of are sport the sixth fourth on the Be constructors sure with four back, points we are ahead of alpine this is a very big win right so let's gonna see the highlights yeah lights out and away we go All right, so this is over the part of the AI light. So looks uh, looks like Tatiana lost some acclaim. Yeah, probably because of the DNF. I got some damage deductions here. I cannot remember where I hit. I cannot remember anything, bro. Right, so right now I'm going to try to improve 
our teammates i'm going to try to make her the best the best driver of the season of course behind me <laughs> after all i'm the owner of the team i need to be better <laughs> or not <laughs> All right, so in terms of constructors thing, we are not very, very bad. I don't know what's the main reason for us to be on such a high position. Probably because of the Ferrari engine, but we have the, the bad side of the Ferrari engine, which is the reliability of the lack of it. Yeah, by the looks of it, we have the, the best engine on the grid, but in terms of reliability we all know what is this this so i believe i'm going to have some bad luck over here yep bad luck one bad luck two yeah that's that's pretty much where i spend the rest of my points plus to remake everything that have failed so we are going to be a little bit even behind the the others just because of that setback but it is what it is we need to spend the point so here we are we are almost fighting for the position of um, alpine in terms of performance of the car man i miss Renault. it was such a nice brand and livery but okay okay Renault still there alpine it's another name for Renault <laughs> and yeah this was the update the Jetta update so see you on the next one bye